Today I'm looking at an original Game Boy Advance SP. The issue with this unit is that it doesn't seem to want to charge. Right here when I plug it in, the little orange light comes on for maybe a second and then it turns off. I tried plugging and unplugging a few times and messing with the power switch. Some strange things kind of happened, but ultimately it would not remain charging. My first thought in situations like this is just to clean out the power port. It does look pretty dirty, so I am going to partially disassemble it so I can give it a very thorough clean. Before I start taking things apart, there's a few things that are going to be going on in this video. However, the fix actually ended up being very simple. So if you just want to skip right to that part, head to this timestamp in the video. And if you want to see the whole thing, just keep watching. Let's take it apart. Here I'm just using isopropyl alcohol, a toothbrush, and a swab to get things super clean on the board and in the charging port. Did it help? Nope. No, unfortunately the answer is no. Alright, we're getting desperate. Time to bust out the soldering iron. What I'm going to do is just reflow every solder joint that attaches this connector to the board. The two large ones on this side are for strain relief and perhaps grounding. So we'll reflow those. On the opposite side, there are six smaller pins, and these are more important, that give the electrical contacts from the connector to the board. After reflowing all of those, I also understand that this EM8 chip located here is some type of voltage regulator that can also go bad and lead to an issue like this. So there's four small solder joints in each corner, and we'll reflow those as well. Is it going to work now? No, no, it still doesn't. Apparently I don't have footage of me testing it, but it didn't work after reflowing all the solder joints. At this point I was stumped, so I thought I would try the most insane thing I could think of. A new battery. So the blue one here is from a different unit that I know is working, so let's pop that in and see what happens. Behold, it is charging, and it turns out after all that work, most likely the issue is just the battery being dead. Now I feel like a dummy. You know, actually, I might never know if there was an issue with those solder joints. It was in pretty bad shape and just rough condition, extremely dirty. But most likely, it probably would have worked out of the chutes if I just would have replaced the battery. We are reassembled and everything's working like a charm. I'm going to buy a replacement battery and call it a day. The lesson here is one that can be quick to forget, to always start with the simple things first. When I visually checked the battery, it seemed fine. It wasn't bulging or anything, so I didn't think much of it, when really that should have been the first or second thing I tested, alongside cleaning the charging port. My recommendation to anyone out there experiencing this problem, where the charging light turns on for a second, then off, just try replacing the battery before putting any more thought into it than that. So, even though the solder reflow process was very likely unnecessary in this scenario, hopefully seeing it can help someone else out there if they have a similar issue where the battery alone is not the sole problem. That's all I've got today. I hope you liked what you saw, and thanks for watching.